Hi guys, it is Monday, February 17th, and it is Nostalgia Week here on Project Chronicle, and I don't know what my hair is doing today. What the? Okay. Um, and I'm wearing all of my Harry Potter swag. Yeah, and yay Harry Potter shirt. It's as high as I can lift myself. Um, so in honor of that, we are going to play a very old Harry Potter game. I am so excited. Um, and I had a lot of issues um, trying to get this to work because it's a 32-bit game. It doesn't run. Um, I had to run it in compatibility mode for XP. Um, the mouse is moving, crazy laggy, and the sound is very garbled, but it's gonna happen. So, because I'm going to Harry Potter today, we're playing the original PC Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone game. So, let's get going. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, Start a new one, and you can laugh at how bad the sound is. There is nothing about the starry sky that so night to suggest that strange and mysterious Oh, it's so around. bad. As unsuspecting but, muggles. Anyway, so I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna run this for. The giant named Hagrid. Let a blanket wrap bundle. Ah, let's see. We'll do uh, maybe 15 minutes, minutes or so of it. Let's see how it goes. This is tea, by the way, for your health. Harry Potter, the boy who Oh, lived. this sound is so bad. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagonally to purchase the most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts was in battle, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package would have been. I'm sorry, the, it's safer, just so bad. There's, it's saying exactly what it's reading, so you can just after, read along if you like. Um, so, my Hogwarts thought is every day this week I'm going to play an old game. Um, the Muggle world I have behind. quite a good variety. Um, so I will give you, let's say, two this options, term, and then the the at the end of the video, just in comments, put down what you want, and the one that has the most requests most will be the one that I play, and if nobody comments, I'll just pick one arbitrarily. Um, so Could I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you two options, and, uh, we'll try and run them like we do here, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the sound is better, but who knows. You could be green. It's all here in my home, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No, but if you're sure, let it be. Gryffindor! I want to clear my throat every time I hear him talking. Alright, Hogwarts main entrance. We need to defend, attend defense against the Dark Arts class, and we need to find a secret wizard card. watching me try and get this going to make sure it all worked. No, and he said that Dumbledore's wearing Elton John glasses. So I figured it was accurate. Door, but keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and so many Don't memories. Play. So, for reference, this is the game. Actually, I'm gonna just go to this quick so you make sure you can see. This is the game. Um, it came out in 2001, and as you can see, it was published by EA. And yeah, it was uh, the first PC Harry Potter game, obviously, it's based off the first one, so I'm really excited. So, this game, the mouse works really wonky. So, I'm gonna it out here first, and I'm gonna change this. W. S. A. D. Spaces jump. Who's the one with the left mouse wheel? This is gonna be fun. Um, and speed up. 
Doing the spells is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh well. Okay, we'll keep that. Oh, this sound is annoying me. I have to turn this down. I'm sorry, it's so choppy. Alright. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't want the mouse to be any higher. It'll just be a gong show. Well, you know what? Let's try it. So I'm testing this out with you guys. Let's go high. Nope. That's a disaster. Okay. We'll speed low. Alright. See, I'm going up, but it's catching up still, so it's still going right, because I'm going up and left right now. Let's just do this. This'll do. Oh, and we get to meet Ron! Hey, Harry! Remember me? No reason. My brother's friend and George has something to show you. Follow me! Oh, this game was not like this when I played, but I put a very crappy computer to go along with the crappy game, so. Yay, pretty bots, every flavor beans! Well done! Now, let's try jumping! Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. So, in comments, if any of you played this game, uh, let me know what you thought of it. If you remember playing this, if you enjoyed it, if you played the second one, I also have the second one for PC, so... Also, that is something I missed from the movies. I really liked Peeves in the books, so I'm kind of excited that he's in the games, but uh, I really liked him. I was very sad that he was not in the movies. This is 
the only game I think where the chocolate frog stands. They hop in the same spot. They don't jump all over the place. Yeah, I don't have to chase them. Oh, that didn't work. All right, let's try this again. to avoid using the mouse to turn because it'll just drive me insane. Right, I've got 23. Snape out of the potions chamber at the end of the game if you collect enough. Oh, got the wizard card. Okay, I was gonna stop before we got to the lesson, but I really wanted, I want to show you how bad the mouse is right now. It's, it's gonna be insane. Um, so I can show you the idea of how the spell works. So I wonder if I'll actually get past it. We shall see. So, got the card, and that is where Fully Omega comes into effect. And then there's a final one. You have to collect 250, get all the collect the 20 all the 24 cards, and then you have to defeat. You must not be named too message. Go away. Alright. Look who it is. It's Hermione. How's it going, Hermione? Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark hearts is through this door. Follow me. Oh, God. This is going to be so bad. I hope I can actually, like, get to the challenge. So how this game worked, for those of you who never played it, was um, you would learn a spell, so you have to trace your mouse over the shape, and you have to do it so many times. And then you go to a challenge using the spell and you find stars. Just memory stars. Yeah, you have to find all the challenge stars. Oh god, okay. This is not working. Nope, it surely isn't. Nope, sure can't. Yeah, so you can see, like, nothing is happening with the mouse right now. It's so bad. Oh, I got 1%! 3? 4%. Excellent. So, yeah, this is not happening. Well, oh, at least I tried. Okay. I have no idea, Quirrell. I have no idea. So, sorry guys, I, I can't. Until I fix the mouse on this, I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. So, I'm gonna close out of this. We're gonna quit the game. Yes, I'm sure I wanna quit. 
Um, I'm not. Yeah, I can't open. I can't do the Quidditch yet. So I'm gonna try and finagle this and figure out how to fix the mouse. Um, if anybody has any ideas, please leave comments down below. But that is essentially the game. I really would like to show you guys how spells and all that jazz works, but I can't show you until I get it worked out. So I'm going to close this down. Am I sure I want to exit? Yeah, not really, but you're not giving me much choice here. So let's do this and we will switch. This is my virtual box, by the way. I'm not, my computer does not actually look like that. Uh, we'll go to webcam. So your choices for old video games. Hmm. Let's see. Um, what do I have here? No, 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 <coughs> no. Okay, this one. And oh, I'm not going to make you watch me play that. Um, okay, your options are. Okay, so for tomorrow's game, I would like you guys please to pick between Clue Finders, Math, ages 9 to 12. And Sim Safari, ages eight plus. So I'll hold them side by side here. Back it up a little bit. These are your options. So in comments down below, uh, let me know which one you want me to play. And I will play that one tomorrow. I will set it up probably the same way that I have it set up here and we'll see what happens. Um, and then the one that you don't pick will be included in the one for the next day. And again, if nothing, if you guys don't pick one, I'll just pick one arbitrarily. And if it's not the one you wanted, well, you should have commented. Anywho, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully laughing along with me at how bad that game was. But if you have any um, tips or tricks on how to fix that damn uh, mouse problem or the sound problem, please leave comments down below because I would love to start actually playing those games again. I really, really love those games. Anywho. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined.